Hey everybody and welcome to this X-Plane 11 video. We're here on the ground at Dublin Airport and we're going to fly down to Cork Airport on a VFR flight. We're in the Laminar Research Cessna 172, um, default plane that comes with this program. We're going to depart from runway 16, uh, we're going to fly out over Bray and then we're going to turn to intercept the VOR at Clamel and then our approach down into Cork. Uh, the weather today is just running default, scattered clouds. The weather in Ireland isn't ideal today for flying. You would probably end up in Antarctica. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the flight and let's get started. So this is the Cessna 172 developed by Laminar Research. It's a stock plane in X-Plane 11 um, and it's really, really good. Like the modeling and textures are brilliant. The uh, PBR is very good. So this is our chariot for today. Uh, we're gonna jump into the cockpit. We're gonna go through our weight and balance. Our pre-flight, we'll go through our checklists and we're gonna taxi this plane out and we're gonna start our flight. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is just have a quick look at our weight and balance. Uh, so we got center gravity looks okay. Payload weight, yeah, I'll take that. Um, flight time is given us with our fuel is about four hours. We've got loads. So all that's just rosy. Um, okay, so first things first, flaps should be retracted, which they are. We're going to select our fuel tanks to both. Fuel shutoff switch goes to in. Our parking brake is set on. Uh, mags and master switch are off. Um, so we're going to turn on our batteries and get our beacon light running. We're going to put our mixture to rich. We're going to put a quarter on our throttle and our fuel pump can come on. And once we see in the fuel stabilized, we can start leaning the mixture. That'll do. Okay, we're gonna turn our mags to both. Check our prop area, clear. And we're gonna start. Gonna keep our RPM at about a thousand. And we can lean a small bit to get our EGT, which is our exhaust gas, temp gas temperatures up. Um, oil pressure is going to start to rise soon. Pressure's okay. Fuel quantity is reading what they need to. Uh, ambimeter and our vacuum, everything's going there is good. Our avionics can come on. Our nav lights can come on. There's two switches here for avionics. Let's set them up there. Transponder, don't need to do anything with that just yet. Our trim is set to take off. Okay, so we dropped in our flight plan we've made on Simbrief, uh, so it's Dublin Cork. So let's go in here and have a look. Flight plan, enter. What have we got going here? Uh, that's what we want. Okay, so it's going to give us a runway 16 departure. It's going to fly us out towards Bray. Um, it's going to turn us right over towards Clamel, that's the VOR there, and then eventually down into Cork. So that's all grand. Uh, transponder can come on to 1200. We're going to set our taxi lights on there. Pedo heat can come on. Amps everything are reading what they should do. Okay. There's some strobes on there as well. Yeah, so basically with this um, with this aircraft, I've uh, you know I've flown in this an awful lot. Um, any of my flight simming from before, I would have flown in FSX, um, and you know in, in in terms of what the stock aircraft can do and what they look like. Yeah, okay, granted, there's a lot of years between them, but they're uh, with X-Plane 11. Like it's, I just think it's really, really, really good. Like the the modeling, the reflections you get. Um, 
the physics, everything. It's, it's to me, this is just it's a better sim for what I use it for. Uh, P3D, I've, I haven't used it. Uh, I see the other guys using it, and yeah, like it, it, it looks great as well. They, you know, they're, they're both great. I think everyone else says that that they're both great. Um, so yeah, so we're going to taxi this, and I notice that our heading indicator is wrong. So we're going to set that up. This guy over here a little bit. That looks a bit better. I have this weird thing here with some of the I can't remember what texture file I've loaded or object, but there's like tractors. It's really annoying. I was on the uh, I was on the org trying to figure out how to get rid of it, but we won't worry about that. There could be tractors there, right? We don't know. So we can come down, have a quick look. Uh, we're set to GPS. Annunciator panel, no problems that we can see. Uh, transponder is on. Temperatures, everything are good. Oil temperature is risen, that's good. Fuel is everywhere it needs to be. So everything looks fine at the minute. Famous last words, right? So we're going to swing right here and we're going to be taxiing off runway 16. Okay, for a run of so, our mixture can come in and we can increase our RPM to about 1700. And we're going to select our different mags here. So, with our mag switch, we're going to go to left and we should see a drop of about 150. Looks good. Back to both. Select our right mag. Looks good. And back to both. idle, make sure it doesn't stall. And we're good. We can drop a degree of flaps. So I'm coming down. We're not flying with any traffic there today. Uh, so we don't need to worry about bashing into anyone. Before we go, trim is set, temperature is all okay, landing lights are on, flaps down, we're good to go. Applying a bit of right rudder heading down the runway, we're waiting for 60 knots. Goodbye Dublin. That scenery there is from Aerosoft. It's savage. I really like it. Okay, bring our flaps in. Continue our climb. We're going to come out over Dublin. 
Uh, we have the uh, the two chimneys out over Ring's End. We're going to climb up to about 3,000 feet and level off and then we'll start following them down. Uh, we're going to go by the coast and then after Bray we're going to turn to the right um, to a westerly direction and then south towards Clonmel. So there's our altitude hold switch. We can cruise here at about 100 knots. It's looking out over Dublin south side. Uh, again, you have Ring's End just down here, and down with the docks. We're going to come over to Leary Harbour, which is down here. It's a nice day. Okay, what we'll do, we're going to cut through, uh, cut to a couple of uh, scenic shots as we're flying around and we'll talk to you in around Clonmel when we're going to start our approach. Okay, we've just intercepted uh, the VOR here at Clonmel. Um, we're 
going to continue on our approach into Cork. We're still at 3,000 feet. Uh, we can pick up Cork Airport on our ATC now as well. Okay, so we're, we're going to be turning south very shortly down to uh, make our final approach. So we've just started our descent now down towards Cork. Uh, we've reduced our throttle back. We can see the runway dead ahead. It's runway 17. So we've got Cork City over here. Paul Bowling, Naval Base in here, in Cove. Dropping lots of flaps here. Okay, so lights will come off, pedo heat can come off, avionics off, bring our mixture back, lights come off, and battery off. You can advise the tower controller when you're ready on 118 decimal 6. Bye bye. Okay, welcome to Cork. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the flight. It took about an hour and 30 minutes. Um, we're going to use Cork now for our next starting location. Uh, we're probably going to head on towards Bantry. I'd like to do a lap of Ireland, maybe go across into the UK, down into Europe. Um, and yeah, we've got to do some US stuff as well. But um, if you have any comments, suggestions, opinions, please leave them in the in the section below. Uh, if you want to see me flying in other places with different aircraft, by all means, just, just ask the question. Um, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, this is video number two for X-Plane for me. Um, so I'm hoping there will be more. Okay, guys, we'll catch you later. And thanks for watching.